Alright, what's good with the YouTube? Yes, y'all see it right now. The Hall of Fame, NBA 2K19 Hall of Fame. Listen, I'm going to show y'all how to get on this thing. You know what I'm saying? I know it's kind of too late, but it is. listen, if you want to hit 99, I'm going to show you the best way you had to hit 99. You feel me? This is a rep glitch. Literally, when I say a rep glitch, I do mean it. Now, you're going to go crazy with this thing. So, man, make sure y'all drop a like, comment, and subscribe. We finna go ahead and get right into it. Oh, it, work, it works on Xbox and PlayStation, but it's even more OP on PlayStation. So, I need everybody to stay tuned for this whole video. Let's get into it. Listen, we finna go and get into it. Now, before y'all start complaining and saying this, this, and that, this ain't the same thing that y'all been seeing. So make sure y'all watch this video. And as a matter of fact, if you got something to say, I'm gonna need you to go sit on the toilet and let that out. Don't put it in my comment section, you feel me? <laughs> but nah, we're gonna get right into it. So this is what you wanna do. Go over the options and features. And then go over to create a roster. Like I said, this ain't the same thing. So, man, I need y'all to stick with me. This is like super duper crazily OP right here. All right. So, click that right there. Uh, official 2K Sport roster. And then you want to click quick edit, which is the op option button down there at the bottom left. Y'all see that quick edit. Boom. All right. After you do that, go ahead and go to the home screen. Join up on a friend on Xbox or PlayStation. It does not matter. Just join somebody's session. Now, the only reason why you want to join somebody for a session is because you need somebody to take you into the park with your options to be able to edit these settings. Now, pay attention. I want y'all to pay close attention because y'all don't want to miss out. You don't want to miss no steps and y'all want to hear no talking, nobody complaining, did this and that. You feel me? All right. Now, with this, you're going to have to be a starter in the, in the, in the game. Now, like I said, this is going to help you get all of this rep crazy so watch the whole thing it's like three parts that you can go stupidly crazy with so you got to be able to have full access to the playbook and you got to be a starter you know what i'm saying you got to be able to edit the rosters in the death chart all right all right so what you want to do is come down here to nba my team or nba team and then hit rosters all right now obviously what you want to do is Go back over to your person. But first off, you want to find where everybody is on here all together. Now, what we're going to do is find everybody. Now, your name is going to be at the top now. It's going to be at the top of your team, and it's going to be at the top of the list of everybody. So just wait. I'm going to show you how to find everybody. All right, right here. My name is at the top, and this is the whole entire NBA. Now, you want to do this. What you want to do is come over, hit triangle, and then basically you can see you got your positions. You see this little uh, line right here in each column. Just go ahead and start right here. Make the line look like this by hitting A or X and then move all of the stats down to zero. Go all the way across. Just do it just like this. Go all the way across. Now you're going to build yours back up at the end. So you're just going to move everybody else's down all the way down to zero. Now, what you're doing is moving the whole entire NBA stats down to zero, right? All right. So just keep going all the way over. And then I'm going to go ahead and put a time step in the video so that y'all can just fast forward and see the next part. All right. All right, y'all. So after y'all have done that, you want to just hit triangle and then look at... Uh, you now you can change the height. You really don't have to change the height. Um, but what I would do, um, we ain't gonna do that just yet. Just uh, where is it at? Yeah, I'm gonna leave the height at 16. But what we're gonna do is move everybody else's. So hit X or A, move everybody else's height down to five four. Everybody, your team, everybody. All right. So then move your height back to whatever the desired height is. I'm going to move mine. Keep mine at 6'10 because that's what I know how, to, know how to play with. That's what I'm used to. All right. So after I've done that, now what I'm going to do right here is hit X again. And then move everybody's, um, what is it called? Everybody's badge is down to zero. So I just go all the way across like this, holding down on the uh, right analog. And then you, it's just that quick. You're going to move everybody's badges down to zero. All right, y'all. So once y'all move everybody else's badges down to zero, all you want to do is hit X again to make the line go across your name at the top and then move all your badges up to Hall of Fame. 
Now, if you're trying to grind badges, I suggest you putting your badges either on silver or gold and maybe even bronze because when you're doing this you still get it'll help you get badges and it'll go towards your actual badge progress but me i already got all my badges maxed out so if you already have all your badges maxed out go ahead and put all your badges on hall of fame all right so after you've done that go ahead and make sure all your hot spots are just turned up you don't have to worry about moving everybody else's down because it just does not matter because they already, their attributes is already low. Hotspots won't do anything. And keep in mind, you're only gonna have to do this once as far as with everybody else. From now on, all you're gonna have to do is just build up yourself and that's like super duper quick. So you just take everybody else's down and they're gonna be down for the rest of the game, all right? Just before we get into it, we're gonna go ahead and build all of our attributes all the way up to 99. You feel me? <laughs> we move everybody else's down, we're gonna move all of ours back to 99. Boom, just like that. Boom, just like that. Now everything looks good. Me, another thing I like to do is move everybody else's weight all the way down. Just because if I want to like back somebody down in the paint, I want to be able to debo and it'll be real easy. You know what I'm saying? So I'll move everybody's weight down and then I'll put my weight back up. Now, this is what I recommend you doing. You don't have to do this. It's completely up to me, up to you. But with this method that I'm doing, just go ahead and hit our trigger again until you go to your team. Now use this on everybody. Now just go to your team. Is for our team, hit triangle until we go to the badges. And then we're gonna go all the way over to Dimer. That way that everybody who passed me the ball, they're, I'm gonna have a better chance at making that shot. Oh, you know what? Dimer, I'm sorry, Dimer and Lob City Passer. Lob City Passer. So make sure it look like this and bring it on Hall of Fame. Just because whoever passed you the ball, you anytime you throw a oop, you want it to be perfect, all right? All right. So uh, Lob City Passer and then Dimer. Turn it on Hall of Fame. Now we want to go to our team passing because we want them to be able to pass us. You know what I'm saying? Just watch. Pass accuracy it sells everybody, all right? That's it. So you got everything set. Just go ahead and hit triangle, check everything, make sure you got everything good. It's good to go. And then hit B or circle, and then confirm those changes. After you have confirmed those changes, go over here, my team, and then you wanna add this play to your playbook, which is called quick one elevator rip. Now with this play, you can do literally any and everything you want running this play. You can shoot threes, you can dunk, you can get posterizers, you can do everything you wanna do with this play. Now there's a reason why I'm saying get this play. So delete every play and add this play right here. Go ahead and go to options and then put it on Hall of Fame, baby. Yes, Hall of Fame, cause it's gonna be so easy, so easy and so sweet and so cheesy, you feel me? And then put it on 12 minute quarters because it's the reason why you wanna play on 12 minute quarters cause there's another part to this glitch after I show you this part of the glitch. So y'all make sure y'all stay tuned, you feel me? But I'm gonna put it on five minutes for the sake of this video cause I wanna get it knocked out and out the way, you feel me? Now, you wanna be able to mess with the minutes. Now the reason why you wanna be able to mess with the minutes is because you need your player to have the most minutes you want to sub him in as point guard and then take everybody minutes down because you don't want to get subbed out whatsoever. You know what I mean? So take everybody who's outside of the six men, move all eight minutes down. That way they don't get no PT. You know what I'm saying? We don't even need Brian in because everybody already goaded. But the main thing is you want to put yourself at point guard. You know what I'm saying? And this will work. This will work even if you can't put yourself at point guard. I'm just letting y'all know that right now. So don't even trip. But it works better, you know what I mean, if you can do that and then give the last minutes to the six men, you know what I'm saying, Brendan Ingram. And as y'all can see, the game is starting. Everybody is 5-4 midges. Everybody's shorter, shorter than the ref. Look at that. Look, they can't even win the jump ball. This is so crazy. I ain't never seen that one before. But, hey, somebody better get this thing because we ain't finna do this all night. You feel me? 
All right, boom. So we have point guard. Now with that play that we set, hit L1, hit your icon, hit R2, and then hit the play. Quick one elevator rip. Now what we about to do is pass it to your mans, run around him, call for the oop. Dang, he didn't throw the oop. But look at that, easy score. And we on Hall of Fame. It's never been so easy. Hall of Fame never been so easy, baby. And then it's easy for you to get steals. Now the reason why we put everybody height down it's because they're going to miss every shot, just about every shot. And when they do, guess who's about to get the rebound? We are. Get that block. You know what I'm saying? That's that's rep right there. He made that. He made the shot, but that's rep. You got rep for that because you're going to get defensive rebounds and you're going to get steals. Now, one thing you can do is just come straight down court and pull up. Uh, You got all your bads as Hall of Fame. You feel me? <laughs> pull straight up. Now, what the key to this is you want to shoot 30 limitless range threes. After you have made 30, now you want to have the best shooting percentage as you can because if you don't have the best shooting percentage, you're going to get less rep for that. Now, we're on Hall of Fame because we're going to go crazy. So, we got 99 shooting and Hall of Fame all badges. So, it's super easy. Can't get no better than that. Boom. Just like that. Real quick. <laughs> no contest. Wide open. You feel me? He jumped and everything. For the whole first quarter, you want to shoot. Hall of Fame uh, limitless range threes, you know what I'm saying? Now all we about to do is call that play, call your icon, hit, quit, hit the play you wanna hit, quick one elevator rip, wait for them to get set up, pass it to your men, run around the corner, he passes, throw the oop, boom. Now the key to that is you get posterizers off of that, you know what I mean? So the more posterizers you get, oh man, the more and more the rep you gonna get. Now all of them ain't gonna be posterizers, See, I just got to steal off of that one. We're going to come straight down court, throw up the limitless, boom, green, just like that. Have you shot 30 limitless range rings, threes, now you're going to do difficult shots, just like that. After you hit 30 limitless range threes, and you want to have the highest shooting percentage you can. Don't go no lower than a 70, 75 at that. Then you want to go for difficult shots. Make sure you're getting your defensive rebounds. Make sure you're getting your blocks. Not so much more steals, because you can get good rep for steals, but it's not going to be as much as you would like it to be, all right? So, do this method all the way to the end of the game on 12 minutes. Now, remember, I'm playing on five minutes, so watch how much rep I get just from playing on five minutes at the end of this game. All right, all right so after y'all, what I want y'all to do as a matter of fact, is go ahead and finish all of this game out, man. Ball out and go crazy, crazy. When I say crazy, I do mean crazy, because with this method that I showed you, it's unstoppable even when you're not doing this glitch. Even more so, whenever you're doing this glitch, it's literally unstoppable, man. If y'all y'all see me fast forward through it and y'all see all these greens that I'm putting up. Now, this ain't the end of the glitch, so don't click off just yet. This ain't the end of the glitch, it's another part to this, and I want y'all to watch this because I want y'all to go crazy with this. So make sure y'all stay tuned for the last couple of minutes of this video. So after you have balled out and went crazy, you want to get to the last seconds of the game where you're able to sim out with VC. Get as much rep as you can. So like I said, sim out with VC, but what we want to do is save and quit career game. Load up, now close application once you get to that screen. Go over to settings and then click application, save data management, scroll down, you'll see it. Then click at the top, uh, we'll close OK, click save data and system storage. Right there, that option, and then click upload to online storage. Click NBA 2K19, my career 4, upload, and hit yes. After that's done, all you want to do is go ahead and open NBA 2K right back up. Now, we just saved this game to the online storage. That means we can load this game up at the last few seconds and send it with VC every single day after 24 hours. So basically, once we get the rep for this game that we only play 20 minutes of, that we only play five minutes on each quarter in Hall of Fame, watch how much rep we get for only playing 20 minutes. Imagine if I was playing 12 minute quarters. Y'all y'all gonna see, just check this out. And if y'all want me to post another method on how to do this 24, 24 hour method every single day, just comment down below 24 hours and I got y'all. 24 hours and I got y'all. But as you can see, we load right back into the game. And then all we want to do, you don't even have to record no stat. You know, I was just trying to do something real quick because the more rep, the more possible, you know what I mean? But uh, anyways, sim out with VC. Now, after you have simmed out with VC, just watch how much rep I get just for playing 20 minutes. And I, and I wasn't even really playing. I was just out here really just playing around, really, to be honest. Look at all of this. Hall of Fame difficulty level. We maxed out on Hall of Fame already. We already hit 99 doing this. You feel me? Look at that. Fast break, uh, free throw, uh, shot contest. 
Look at the limitless range, 17, and I got 12,000 for that. Look at all this stuff, it's just going up, it's just going up, 47,000, that's 50,000 right there. And look at all that VC I get. Once you hit 96, you get all that. But that's 50,000 VC off of 20 minutes right there. And it'll be more if you play on uh, higher quarters. You can get 100K, 80K. I consistently get 80K every single game whenever I was grinding NBA 2K19. But listen, like I said, if y'all want the other method, just comment down. Comment down uh, 24 hours and I got y'all. But anyways, man, make sure y'all drop a like, comment, and subscribe. This your boy Jay Judah, and I'm out.